Boom. This is the new hot air nozzle for stoking the fire. Some 1,000 construction workers are overhauling this blast furnace during its turnaround. Production engineer Rainer Klock is hoping it'll go back on stream in a few days. Every day counts as revamping it costs 200 million euros. We're upgrading everything around the furnace too. During normal operations, you can't get in here to do repair work. The blast furnace was in continual operation for 20 years. This turnaround was a scheduled event. Only Rainer Klock and his colleague are permitted to crawl through the last open ventilation shaft. They film it with a small camera. Our cameraman has to stay outside. The shaft is too dangerous. This is Europe's biggest blast furnace. Its internal volume is 5,500 cubic meters. The structure's inside diameter is 14 meters 90, and that translates into a furnace that can produce up to 12,000 tons of pig iron a day. We have to do the masonry work by hand because everything has to fit exactly. We have to keep the joints tight, and it all has to be properly sealed so that the heat doesn't penetrate to the furnace shell. Rainer Klock is used to the mist. When it rains, the water evaporates immediately, and the 100-meter-high blast furnaces are swathed in fog. Four of these blast furnaces rise into the sky here at the Tussenkrupp factory in the Ruhr Valley. They produce pig iron, which is remelted and processed into steel. As production engineer, Rainer Klock has to ensure that the three furnaces still on stream continue to work as usual. We keep tapping the iron and filling a torpedo ladle. And depending on how fast we tap the iron, filling the ladle can take half an hour or even an entire hour. Tapping from the blast furnace involves molten pig iron at a temperature of 1,470 degrees Celsius. If the quality of the pig iron is up to standard, Rainer Klock has the furnace continue operating as it is. 12,000 workers produce more steel at this site than anywhere else in Europe. The dimensions here are immense, but it all runs efficiently anyway. The most fascinating part? Well, a normal working day is pretty fascinating. Here in production, no one day is quite like another. Tapping the iron is one of the most fascinating sights. I remember watching it when I came here with my grandfather. He worked here, and now I work here. Rainer Klock studied metallurgy. Like many of his colleagues in the control room, he comes from a metal worker family. We're in constant contact with the staff outside. They let us know if there are any problems. But as you see, we have lots of electronics here, and it's a very modern control room. The gigantic furnaces are charged with two materials. The red iron ore melts to become molten pig iron. The diagram shows the filling profile. The black is the coke and the red is the flux, the iron ore and additives. At the end of the shift, Rainer Klock has to climb 40 meters to return to the construction workers. They've just finished work on the connections for the coolant water. They work around the clock in shifts. The turnaround is on a very tight schedule, and soon the blast furnace must be ready to go back into production.